Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a little more thermal testing using the Flirt case. Now, we're gonna be using no heat sink, then I'm gonna to move to a eBay heat sink, and then we'll test the Flirt case. What I've done here is I've set up SSH, and I'm gonna run a script on my desktop to check the temperature every 30 seconds. On the Raspberry Pi itself, I am also logging the temperature every one minute. So I will pull the logs and compile them at the end. We're going to warm up for 10 minutes. Then I'm going to start video playback on YouTube, full screen, 720p, using a documentary, Earth in Two Hours, from Nova. This is going to take me all day. So this is, I will do one more thermal test after this, another video, using RetroPie in the Flirt case. But doing these thermal tests takes me a long time to record the videos, set them up, render them, and um, it just takes forever. So far, the Flirt case is the best heat sink that I've found, unless you want to mount a giant heat sink on the Raspberry Pi. It looks really good. The case is beautiful. So let's get started here. I'm going to fast forward this. I will only record my desktop screen due to copyright on the YouTube video that I am using. So it's one hour of video playback, 720p, full screen. We'll see how hot these units get. The first test will be wrapping up shortly. The highest temperature that I've seen is 69.8 degrees Celsius. That's 157 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm now going to perform the same test using a eBay heatsink. I have given it sufficient time to cool down. Let's get into it, see what happens. The generic eBay heatsink did keep the CPU cooler, but when starting out an idle, the temperature was a bit higher than with no heatsink. Kinda odd there, I gave it a lot of time to cool, but the highest temperature I saw with the eBay heatsink was 65.5 degrees Celsius. Moving on to the last test now, um, we're using the same exact test procedure, 10 minute warm up, one hour of video playback at 720p full screen, using the same exact YouTube video. Let's see how the Flirt case compares to both of the other tests. After three and a half to four hours of watching the same YouTube video, oh my God, I'm gonna die. I finally finished the test. Now I had to sit there and monitor it just to make sure that the browser didn't crash or YouTube didn't crash. But I've pulled the logs here from the Raspberry Pi. I will upload these to my Dropbox because it's going to be kind of hard for you guys to see on mobile. But I created a little PNG that should fill your screen pretty well. So starting out the no heat sink was at 39.2 degrees Celsius, 102 degrees Fahrenheit. The eBay heatsink was a bit higher when starting out, but it did keep it cooler in the long run. I'm not sure what happened here. It's a little odd, but it did keep it cooler. And the flirt case was at 37 degrees Celsius. That's 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Five degrees cooler than the eBay heatsink. The highest temperature we reached with the no heatsink was 69.8 degrees Celsius, 157 degrees Fahrenheit. That temperature is not bad for this chip to be running at. The CPU, while doing this test, was anywhere from 24% on up to 40% usage. The eBay heatsink, the highest we reached, was 65.5 degrees Celsius, 149 degrees Fahrenheit. And finally, the flirt case topped out at 56.4 degrees Celsius, 
133 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Fahrenheit cooler than no heat sink at all. That's a good gain in cooling for a small chip like this. If you're using Raspbian for spreadsheets or editing office documents, you probably won't see these temperatures even with no heat sink. But if you're doing more CPU intensive tasks, you may want to throw a heat sink on it. I recommend getting the Flirt case. It looks beautiful, it protects the board itself, and it does keep it cooler than a regular eBay heat sink. I do have to mention that these two no heat sink and eBay heat sink tests were not in a case itself. If these were in a case, they would probably reach higher temperatures. They were sitting out on my desk, the same exact spot that I had the Raspberry Pi in all of these tests. I do recommend the Flirt case. Good price, awesome quality, keeps your board protected and cooler than it would with a regular tiny eBay heatsink. That's it for now, guys. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you guys could help me out by hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel, that would be awesome. I really appreciate it. And like always, Thanks for watching.